hierophant, the seven of wands, and the knight of swords together with the ace of wands. Okay, so I'm getting that this was a spiritual connection or that at least you, you felt that way. Um, I do see that this person also felt like there, there was a lot of passion. They really were into you. <clears throat> but there was, some, there was a barrier. There was something that was, I feel, made them feel guarded or made them hold back from you. This person seems to be um, a lot in their headspace, over analytical. Maybe they're an air sign as well or have um, air signs strongly in their chart. Maybe not. But we'll see. Let's take a look at the current situation. I need a six of cups for you. And the rules can definitely be reversed. So do keep that in mind. The six of cups, the nine of wands, and the ace of cups. Okay, so yeah, I mean, I'm really, we have three cards here that are really showing, are pointing to a very deep and loving connection, very likely spiritual, could definitely be divine soulmates, twin flames. Um, Yeah, it feels like at the moment you you miss this person because of this break in communication or because of, you feel that there's a withdrawal. So if you're still in contact, it could just be that you're missing the way things were with this person before something happened um, that caused this withdrawal between the two of you. Um, and it feels like, yeah, it feels like the connection right now is really going through some testing, challenging times with the Nine, nine of Wands. Um, but it's kind of like your mutual energy between the two of you isn't giving up just yet. This person has a lot of love for you. So let's see what's coming up in the near future, and then we will clarify and get the details to all of this. We have meditation, we have ace of wands, we have the hanging man, one more piece. And <clears throat> the knight of wands together with the six of wands. Alright, yeah, so that pride amigo card um, feels like, like it was on their side. Maybe they were very concerned about um, what success means for them or concerning others and how others see them. And it feels like they're actually going to take action on this coming up in the future. Um, <clears throat> however, it feels like there's still a little bit of a little bit of a waiting period um, while this person does this. and. You, I mean, it just really feels like you still you still want this person, um, but you're really meditating on the fact that maybe you should look towards having a new beginning um, somewhere, somewhere else, or in your life in general. Um, but it feels like you're keeping your options open. So actually, let's clarify and see. So. Past. And we have the Seven of Pentacles, ooh, the Seven of Wands again, and the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, so you you were really invested in this. I feel like you were expecting, you had some expectations um, for some sort of a deeper commitment than what you ended up having but again you felt like this seven of wands like there was just a barrier there that this person is holding back their energy from you in some way like not opening up not letting you know certain things um it just feels like you were waiting and waiting for this ace of pentacles and it just always felt like 
this person, you see this? So this is you waiting, right? Um, investing your time and energy in this connection. And then here's this person blocking out that Ace of Pentacles, blocking out that commitment or, you know, a potential for something deeper or something more tangible than what it than what it was. their energy, the Knight of Swords with the Ace of Wands. <clears throat> and they have the Four of Swords, the Seven of Cups, and the Star. So yeah, it feels like they were, again, like, I'm just getting some passive energy from them. Um, it seems like you probably felt them as living in their own little world, like their own little fantasy world kind of thing that you just couldn't really get a peek into. Um, you could sense that they did want this, that they did want you, and that they, you know, they had a wish for you. But however, there was just something that they weren't doing. Like they were just being very, very passive, having their guard up and not really taking some action that you expected them to take. And it feels like for, for a lot of them it could be that that they were just overanalyzing certain things. Like that it was just um And it was because, I mean, their, their feelings are there. It's, it's evident even here um, in the current energy for them. The feelings are there, but it feels like this obstacle had something to do again with how others might view them, and so they were pulling away, or how they would feel about themselves. Like, what does it mean to be successful? And they felt like, hmm, doing what I need to do might actually be contradictory to my definition of success. So very strange. I feel like they were even confused about it. Um, so that's why it's coming up, <laughs> this confusion. And because of that, it feels like you were just going through cycles of maybe being in contact, not being in contact, or having a withdrawal. And just when you think you're getting somewhere, there's a withdrawal again. They put that barrier back up. That's what I feel the cycles are. And it feels like at the moment, you are the one that's surrendering to the situation, like really being like, you know what, like how can I keep trying for this when the same thing happens over and over and over again, and so you're just kind of throwing your hands up in the air and just surrendering to the universe, like, you know what, just let it be what it is. <laughs> Let's actually clarify this seven of wands, take the hand more information here. The eight of wands, the eight of pentacles, sorry, the five of pentacles, and the five of cups. Okay, yeah, see, so definitely there was, there was an action that was not being taken. It, this is clearly a lack of action. And this lack of action causes a lot of distress, it causes a lot of sadness for you, um, maybe even for them. Because they, they were having a hard time even just really processing their own emotions here, not understanding themselves. Because we do have the Seven of Cups here, so it shows a lot, some confusion, especially together with the Knight of with the Knight of Swords. It's almost as if they didn't know. I mean, if I open up, what does that mean? Is that going to change something in my life? Is it going to make things weird? Um, is it going to change um, what I had dreamed for myself? Like, they, it's just a lot of that. So let's see what's going on in the current situation. So we have the Six of Cups for you. Let's see what this is about. Justice. Ten of Swords. And the Queen of Pentacles. Alright, so for some of you, it could be that this um, this obstacle and the reason why they have their guard up, it could be that there was another person 
involved. Um, and maybe you were, if they were married, you were thinking that they might, that there might be an ending to that connection and that there might be a divorce and it feels like that didn't really happen and it's just you really surrendering to that belief. Um, and it is, it is painful, right? We have the Ten of Swords. It is painful. And the reason why I'm saying this is because for me the Queen of Pentacles often represents a karmic partner and justice could be um, a legal document or anything of that sort. But if that's not the case for you, and even if it is, I'm also getting that you are looking to nurture your own self at the moment, to really look after you and do what is right for you, even if it is painful. So you're definitely missing this person, definitely missing um, the connection or the cycle where you are um, a bit closer or when you have been closer in the past. Um, but that's not stopping you from wanting to really be taking care of yourself. You want to be treated fairly. Um, either way, you deserve somebody that will open up to you and that will express themselves to you. And if they're with somebody else, you deserve somebody who, you know, will give you their 100% commitment or 100% of their, of their being, right? And it feels like this is what you are surrendering to. It's just, it's, it's not easy. It's not easy what you're doing in it. Um, let's see this Ace of Cups on their side. The Tower. I'm not surprised. I was thinking about that when I first saw that Surrender card. It's like that's what came to my mind was Tower. So the tower, the six of wands, again, and the ten of wands. Okay, yeah. So definitely something involving their self-image or what they think success means. Um, this is getting to be a burden on them, this definition of success that they have, because it's like, it doesn't really align with who they truly are, it doesn't align with their inner being, it doesn't align with what their heart wants, um, and so this is what they're having the tower moment over, like, it's like they're asking themselves the question, um, is my self-worth dependent on how others see me, and on what others expect of me, or what others think success is? Or is my self-worth really determined by my own soul and what I truly am? And it feels like a lot of these core beliefs that they've been holding on to, they're now being brought to the surface with this tower moment. And all of this, right, is all about this Ace of Cups, which is also about self-love. And that's why I'm mentioning the self-worth issue because They're really at that point right now where they're being forced to take a look at themselves and how much do they love themselves and how much is it me and what I want versus society or others and what they want. And they feel like they've been carrying that for so long and it's just really wearing them out, trying to meet other people's expectations, trying to do what others would expect them to do or what others think that successful really means. And they've been going along with that. And now that's, the universe is just pushing them to really dig deeper into that. And that's why this is so difficult right now because you're trying to release this person because you want to do what's best for your own self and this person is really taking a look at these issues in their life. So the Nine of Wands, we have the Eight of Cups. Yeah, so... It's like you're both releasing what doesn't serve you. Right? King of Cups, based on... based on love. 
it's love that for yourself or love for each other that is pushing you to really take a look at these things um, and turn your back on certain things. And for you, it might be, for the time being at least, this person. And it's hard. Again, it's a challenge. Nine of Wands here. Um, but, but you're doing it. You're both doing it. You're both pushing through, um, through this challenge, listening to your hearts. And wanting to do, you each want to do what is right for your own self. Alright, so let's see what is coming up. So for you, yeah, it feels like you're just really going deep. You're going to be meditating. We have meditation here with the Ace of Wands. Um, you're really going to be meditating on, on the potential. On the potential that you might have for your own self. Let's see. So you're really meditating on what it is that has been conflicting you. You're moving towards becoming more balanced. And if there is a third party here, you really don't want to have to be an option. Um, or at least you don't want to feel like, like this person is almost forcing themselves to, you know, also give you their time that they're juggling too and that they can't manage it and that, you know, you, you don't want to feel like that. You want to feel like this person has that passion for you. And so you are now being driven and you're going to feel motivated to actually find your own balance and come out of this, come out of this conflict. So it looks like you're moving in the right direction. Let's see the energy for your person here with the Knight of Wands and the Six of Wands. Alright, so we have the Knight of Wands again. Yeah, see, they're going through, they're still going to be going through a little bit of a challenging time, but they're fighting. They're fighting for this. Um, the Devil and the Sun, and it's always interesting to me when we the devil and the sun together and three of swords at the bottom of the deck so it looks like they're really fighting for this they are taking some action here on these societal or external influences on them um, it feels like they're seeing the truth about a karmic situation about a karmic cycle or about how toxic it has been for them to not be aligned with themselves and to actually try to follow the crowd or to be influenced so much by um, others' expectations of them. So see, this is them moving towards the sun, moving towards the light, then moving from the devil to the sun, being like taking those steps necessary to overcome this and to move out of it. So it does feel like it's taking a little bit of time with the hanged man here, but ultimately it's like you're both on the right path here. So I'll just clarify the hanged man. The King of Wands, the Three of Cups, and the Four of Cups. Okay, so the hangman is also about seeing things from a new perspective, which is, I feel is exactly what they're going through. Um, but again, like I said, it feels like they're, they are moving in the right direction, just as you are overcoming their challenge. It's kind of like they have what it takes with the King of Wands here. They have what it takes, and you have what it takes to do what you need to do for you as well. And with this um, Three of Cups and the, and the Four of Cups together, I'm seeing this as... If there is a third party, if this is what their um, barrier is, then it, this is them becoming more withdrawn from that connection or just really getting tired of having to entertain this situation with having two, two partners in a, in a sense. 
It's like they don't want to do that anymore. Um, they're tired of that. It feels like it's been going on for a while. Um, and so, yeah, they're ready to start moving away from that. All right, let's get just a couple of marker cards to close out this reading. And if you like this, please give me a like, leave me a comment. Let's see. Deep knowing. And let's get one more. Messages for three space. Oh, well, that was three. We'll take them. Okay, so we have deep knowing, let go of control issues, attraction, and deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. So, yeah, somebody has not been. Um, straightforward about their feelings, which is exactly what I was saying in the beginning here. Um, definitely haven't been living with their own truth. They have... What they're showing is the influence from the outside world. Societal expectations. But the message here is that they do have a deep knowing of what it is that they truly want and of what, where it is that they would be aligned, just as you have a deep knowing for your own self concerning this connection. And I do feel like it is a very strong connection. Very first card out was the Hierophant. Um, so yeah, let go of control issues if you feel like, you know, maybe that has been an issue for you. And the attraction is definitely there, even though this person is not really expressing it um, to you. 